What's going everybody? It's your boy Ricky right here. And I'm sitting here, you know, uh, working with my new company, uh, JB Hunt. Um, I'm on a regional, I'm doing regional over the road. Um, they call it regional, but really it's over the road. Uh, you know, uh, basically I just want to give you a little breakdown on this company and what I think about it. Um, so far, uh, I actually love this company. Um, I started fresh out of truck driving school. I started with uh, Coca-Cola, uh, driving their, uh, their trucks. And, uh, you know, I did a lot of these major companies. They want you to have some type of experience. Um, especially if it's not a starter company and you want to make a little bit more money. Uh, so basically I did Coca-Cola for about almost four months. Um, I saw JB Hunt post up a job offer, um, started you off uh, at a 91,000 minimum salary. So I was like, hey, I mean, that's, that's, that sounds good. You know, that's about $30,000 more than what Coca-Cola started me off with. So uh, I looked into the job, I looked at, I do all the research, you know, by every company you, you considering to join because a lot of these companies have a lot of lawsuits you know a lot of these companies have bad equipment all of that good stuff so uh yeah man so i did my research with jb hunt and uh i didn't find too many bad things about jb hunt like it was almost little to none you know it's a they are multiple uh industry companies so they do flatbed they do drive-in they do heavy haul uh and they do refrigerated um Right now, I'm on the Carlisle account. Um, it's pretty much just construction materials. Uh, when it comes to mileage, my average mileage uh, is between 25, uh, 3,200 uh, miles a week. You know, I'm home every uh, Friday, Saturday, and really Sundays, depending on what my load gonna be for uh, Monday. So, uh, for me, they started me off at uh, 64 cents a mile. Um, that's really high uh, compared to a lot of these other companies, especially starter companies. They like to start you off at like low 40s. I didn't see some at high 30s, like 37 cents a mile. You know, um, as you can see, I got some people right now, they're unloading my truck, you know, some roofing materials. But, um, but yeah, this is a great company. Um, I'm originally from Florida, uh, where I'm at right now. I'm actually in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, the company, they have a relocation package where they'll pay for it. They pretty much your entire move. They pay for your U-Haul. Uh, they give you gas money to make the trip. They, and basically to be considered as a candidate for the company, you have to, uh, have a lease agreement showing that you're showing commitment of moving here. Uh, so I ended up uh, getting me a night, me and my wife and kids. I ended up getting us a nice apartment. You know, I uh, got the lease, showed up, showed my manager, my account manager, the lease agreement. And uh, yeah, man, they pay for your moving costs. They pay the whole thing. Uh, so pretty much, my first month rent was free. You know, uh, training here uh, is really based on your experience and your. Uh, your progression. Um, when I was in truck driving school, uh, me and another guy, we graduated and we were like very, very more advanced than a lot of other people when it came to driving and parking. Um, I was on the road with my trainer for only like three weeks. And uh, we went to Denver, Colorado, went to Washington, uh, went to Wyoming, went to California, went to Nevada, you know, and I did all the driving, you know. He asked me did I want him to drive because, you know, I don't I during training you do not get paid mileage pay. You only get a day rate. Um the day rate here is uh two hundred dollars a day. Um but in my situation I actually was making uh two hundred and fifty dollars a day uh because I took the initiative to do all the driving and you know they they normally like to start you off with just local stuff, but they didn't have really any local thing for training. So 
you know, he asked me, my account manager asked me, he was like, hey man, I got this trip to Denver, Colorado, and you can make, if you want to do it, you know, I'll pay you extra. And so I was like, heck yeah, I'll do it. You know, can't be scared to drive. That's, that come with the job. That's the whole purpose. So, uh, so yeah, man, my trainer, I just told him, man, relax, sit back, go to sleep if you wanted to, you know, and uh, I did all the driving. Uh, three weeks, you know, doing that, you know, that was cool. And actually, uh, they do do reimbursements. So uh, if you buy like a hard hat, buy you some steel toe boots, buy you some gloves, um, they do, they do reimburse you all of that money back. Um, what else I could tell y'all? Oh, so right now I'm in a loaner truck. Um, uh, I haven't even got my truck yet. Uh, they do assign trucks to all their drivers. Um, pretty much this truck right here was assigned to me so I can do these little loads, uh, since I'm on the road by myself now, um, come Monday. I actually got to make a trip down to Phoenix, Arizona, where I'm going to drop this truck off. Uh, they sell these trucks to, to I guess, smaller companies or whatever. And uh, I picked me up a brand new 2024 International. Uh, you know, and I love I love the International. That's what I was driving uh, when I got here, uh, 2024. And then after that, you know, like I said, they put me into this loaner truck. Uh, this truck is for they pretty much don't keep trucks past i think like three years they don't keep the trucks so uh this truck is due for uh to get rid of so i'm taking this truck uh on the load i got going for sunday to monday and i'm uh pick up my new truck which i'm gonna do another video for that one when i pick that one up but yeah man uh you know this is a great company i love it my account manager is a real cool guy you know, they straightforward when it comes to, you know, getting you on the road and making sure, you know, you get paid, you know, you're getting taken care of, you got everything you need. They're not cutting any corners with you. Um, I had a very good trainer, you know, he's been with uh, this company for, I think he said about 15 years, uh, well, no, 15 years total experience, but with the uh, JB Hunt, He's been with them, I think, about three years, and he's been with this certain account for uh, one year. So, you know, I got a good trainer, you know, cool guy, you know, funny as hell, you know, and uh, we pretty much almost the same. You know, we talk a hell of a lot, you know, and that's actually good when you start off because, you know, for one, when you're driving like 17 hours, you know, like, you got to think like you got you want to stay awake especially if you're going to if you dedicate yourself to do all the drivers to show your work uh that's what i did you know so uh but yeah man it's a great company i actually the moving experience with me and my family you know not everybody wants to get over the road not everybody wants to move to a whole new state that they're unfamiliar with but for me you know i used to me and my wife we got married in uh idaho you know, and Utah's right underneath it. So, you know, it was like not a major change for us, but for me, it's a permanent change. Uh, my wife is loving it. She loves the area, very diverse here. The people here is very nice, very welcoming. You know, where we stay at, the, the, uh, the small little city uh, is very quiet. You know, I don't, I haven't seen any violence. I'm from, like I say, I'm from Florida. So there's a lot of violence down there. Um, I have I barely see police officers do anything around here other than like highway patrol and stuff. But um but yeah man, JB Hunt, great job. Uh I love the company so far. Um I think I'm actually gonna be sticking with JB Hunt uh for a good little minute. Um I do not plan on leaving no time soon. Um like I say, uh me personally little background about me i am a uh, one-time felon uh my felon is my felony is probably about 14 years old and uh you know i got all that stuff i put it all in my past in the process of getting a full pardon for that um and J, like i say jb hunt they do the background check now they do do uh urine tests 
and they do do a hair follicle test. That's one thing I will tell y'all. Um, I would say to keep everything on the safe side before coming to JB Hunt, you know, hey, look, if you had a pass, that's cool. You know, I hope you enjoyed it, but they do not play about that type of stuff. Um, before you even decide to even come to this company, uh, make sure you have at least uh, a year, a year and a half of being constant clean before you come to this company. Because like I say, they do do hair follicle tests, you know, and they do not, they're not bullshitting. You know, me personally, I had to do uh, three hair follicle tests uh, coming here. And the only reason why I had to do three because the clinic that they had set me up to go do them at, the clinic kept losing my goddamn hair follicle test. So they would take this hair sample and you know, it's not that much. It's just off the back of your head or at the like crown area. Um, they take the hair follicle sample, they bag it up and they ship it out. Well, the clinic that I was at, they, they didn't know how to do them. So they were taking the samples, bagging it up, sending it out, but they would send it to the wrong company. So, you know, uh, they ended up sending that third go around. They ended up sending me to a new clinic and they did it the right way. The results came back. Uh, I want to say like three, four days came back. Everything was good. JB Hunt flew me down here to do my orientation and onboarding. Um, they do pay you for that. Um, they pay for the flight. They put you in a hotel. Um, a lot of these companies I've been hearing about, they've been putting people in like these real crappy hotels not JB Hunt. JB Hunt puts you in nice hotels. They make sure you eat. They pay for all your meals. You know, they, they doing the damn thing. Like I say, not a lot of companies uh, really go beyond to take care of their drivers and JB Hunt really doing that. So um, if you want to know about the pay, uh, because I'm from Florida, my bank is in from Florida. I believe JB Hunt pays you either every Friday or they might pay you every Thursday. I get paid every Wednesday because I'm with Navy Federal and they usually pay you in advance. So I'm not sure what day JB Hunt pays you, but it's either Thursday or Friday. I get paid on Wednesday because I'm banking with Navy Federal. Um, my training pay was pretty much the same. Uh, you get about $1,300 because he they do give you like a per diem. Uh, like I said, if you buy anything, they give you reimbursements. If you show seriousness about coming here and wanting to drive, they pay you a little extra uh, on your check, you know, for that. So I was basically busting about between twelve to thirteen hundred dollars every single week. Um, after that, you get you start getting your commission, you know. Um, on this account, like I say, it's uh, ninety-one thousand minimum. So uh, I'm not making anything less than like sixteen hundred dollars a week you know um i've got guys that's doing like over three thousand miles they're making like twenty two hundred dollars a week you know and that's not bad you know some guys may i've heard of some guys making like twenty seven hundred dollars a week so you know it depends on your dedication depend on how serious you are about driving you know some guys come and you know, they, they get on the road and then they complain about having to be gone from their families. And I understand that, you know, people want to be home almost every day uh, to be home with their families. But if you're serious about driving, man, they got tr drives out here that send you out like 900 miles, you know, 800 miles. And uh, and there and back, that's 16, uh, 1800 miles. You do two of those trips by alone, that's 3,600 miles. You know, now it might take you, uh, instead of five days being away from home, it might take you six. It might take you a whole week. You know, uh, they do that. And then, but don't think that you won't get your uh, your time off because they will make sure you get your time off. But if you're serious about making your money, serious about driving, you know, hey, look, JB Hunt's the place to come. I recommend JB Hunt to anybody I know. Uh, like I say, I, I'm doing flatbed, and uh, I'm loving it. You know, strapping down stuff is not hard. Uh, tarping is probably a challenge, but at the same time, 
if you know what you're doing, tarping is easy. It's not hard. Yeah, the tarps are heavy. I mean, you're talking about 150, 200 pound tarps. But, I mean, you're not the one actually getting up there, throwing them tarps up there. Like, you have, like, the people you deliver to or the people that you pick up from, they will help you uh, get the tarps on top of the load and you just throw the tarps out and, you know, make sure you strap it down and bungee it up, you know, and all of that type of stuff. Um, taking the tarps down, they're super easy, you know, as long as it's not windy. If it's windy, it's a little challenge. You know, it's like trying to fold a blanket in the wind. You know, uh, wind makes it flop and fly everywhere, so sometimes you gotta redo it. You know, but it's not bad. You roll it up, uh, throw some bungee straps on it to keep it closed, and then throw it on it, throw it in your little box on the side of your trailer. Um, other than that, man, I mean, I'm loving it. Like I said, man, JB Hunt's good, good pay. I just got my CDL this year. I've only been driving for about what five and a half, six months. And I'm already on an account that's paying me a $91,000 minimum, you know. Um, I know guys that have graduated uh, from truck driving school and, you know, either they don't qualify um, for jobs like this or they have to start off with starter companies. And, you know, those companies are only paying you, like, like I say, between 37 and, like, I say 52 cents a mile to the most, a lot of these starter companies. So if y'all considering JB Hunt, man, it's a good company. I don't see no bad reviews about that. To be honest with you, the only bad review I've seen about JB Hunt uh, was one guy. He was making, I think, like between 10, between eight and $12,000 a month. Uh, with JB Hunt on the, on the account that he was on, and uh, one month he ended up only making I think like sixty five hundred dollars, and he was complaining about that. So I mean, I don't know about y'all, but even if I was to only make sixty five hundred dollars, hey, to me that's a win. You know, sixty five hundred dollars. You know, that's thirteen hundred uh, thirteen thousand uh, every two months. That's over. Save, I know that's over 72000 a year. You know, anything for me, anything from 70000 to 140000 dude, you, you're winning. You know, you know how to manage your money. You know, don't try to live a lifestyle that's going to make you lose all your money. You know, know, know what you're making and know how to budget your money, man. You know, the whole game to this is to plan a proper end game. You know, and like I say, for me, I, don't, I have no reason to want to look for another job, you know, um, with 91000 being the minimum. I'm looking at it like, hey, man, the guy told me, man, I'm going to make it easy, 110000 120000 easy uh, if I'm serious about doing my runs and, you know, getting my miles. So take on for that is roughly around like eighty, dollars uh, 90000 a year. So I'm all good, you know. I don't have no plan. My 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 yearly my yearly expenses don't go past like thirty thousand. So regardless, I'm I'm pocketing over fifty thousand a year uh, in savings, you know. So I do a couple. Uh, I do about twenty years here, you know. You looking at almost what a million, a little bit over a million dollars. You know, almost two million dollars, depending on how you how much you saving. You know, and I, that don't even include uh, raises. You know, so yeah, man, JB Hunt, uh, dedicated. You know, they give you a lot of merch. They give you shirts. They give you hats. They give you a bag. Uh, I just got this bag right here today. You know, um. They give you vests, they give you hard hats, they give you gloves, they give you cleats because it do snow up here. Uh, you know, they give you everything, you know. So uh, the only thing I would say you would probably have to buy is a, a trucker's GPS system. Uh, you're going to need that. Um, what else? I don't know. They provide mostly everything. 
you know they give you a fuel card you know they give you a, a membership card uh, you got your ELD uh, tablet it comes with the truck so I mean yeah man it's a great great company I love my manager love my trainer man you know these guys are real cool people and you know what they 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 this whole situation relocation you know it, it made me and my family feel hella well welcome you know so yeah man uh trucker rick jb hunt uh i'll be giving y'all an update when i uh, get to phoenix arizona to pick up my new truck and y'all just stay tuned man um, if you ain't already, man, like and subscribe. Press that button, man. Subscribe. You know, I'm giving y'all the information that y'all really want to hear. So do me a favor and just subscribe. Trucker Rick, out.